On 7 News tonight, Hollywood in Brisbane, the sequel. Sir Anthony Hopkins joins Chris and Tom on the set of Thor. What does this man know? New evidence in the hunt for the killer of a Logan mother. Pauline's back in Parliament and the daggers are out for Darren Hinch. Days of interrogation lead to a confession over how a Bali police officer was killed. Live from our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Sharon Gidella. Good evening. Veteran Hollywood star Sir Anthony Hopkins has joined the cast of Thor on the set in Brisbane. Thousands lined the streets for a second day and the hours of waiting paid off. Actors Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston spent plenty of time chatting with fans, thankful for the support. Public servants could lose more than $200,000 in super payouts under new Palaszczuk government laws. Labor unions and the opposition have called on crossbenchers to vote against the changes. With unions and the opposition urging crucial crossbenchers to vote against the new laws, the Palaszczuk government is facing the humiliation of a second legislative defeat on the floor of parliament in as many sitting weeks. Patrick Condren, 7 News. A woman accused of murdering her ex-lover on the Gold Coast yesterday plans to fight the charges. Linda Curry was charged last night after allegedly shooting Gabriel Orchard in the chest with a handgun. The weapon isn't believed to be hers. Extra police have reportedly flown into the remote Cape York community of Pomparau following a large and violent disturbance overnight. When officers responded, a police car was extensively damaged, forcing them to flee on foot. After days of interrogation, the British boyfriend of an Australian mother arrested in Bali has admitted to repeatedly striking a policeman killed in the attack. But Sarah Connor has denied involvement, claiming she was bitten while trying to separate the pair. A Qantas charter flight with hundreds of Olympic athletes and officials on board will arrive home in Australia tomorrow, bringing their Rio Olympic Games experience to an end. But not everyone made it on board. Two of our athletes are ill in hospital. And Brisbane will host Australia's only Welcome Home Parade Friday week. It will start at the top of the mall at midday and travel through the heart of the city into King George Square. There, Bill McDonald will MC a public reception for Queensland members of the Olympic team. Channel 7 will have live coverage of the event from 11.30. Tony Orden has the weather soon. In sport, all the team changes ahead of round 25 of the NRL. And the big waves and big scores from Tahiti. The NRL have confirmed they'll take into account previous misdemeanours from James Roberts as they negotiate a punishment with the Broncos. Roberts has been named to face the storm in Melbourne on Friday. The Titans have finally shown their hand, moving Jared Hayne to fullback but dumping David Mead instead of moving him to the wing for the must-win Panthers clash. Well, Gilly, there's still two rounds to go, but you get the feeling that finals footy is already with us. Yeah, some teams are soaring, some falling. Speculation is mounting over the future of Lions coach Justin Lepich. There was plenty of movement at the Gabba amid confirmation today's scheduled board meeting doubled as a performance review of the coach. Club legend Lee Matthews remaining tight-lipped. Socceroos legend Tim Cahill has touched down in Brisbane for his debut with A-League club Melbourne City tomorrow night. It's a long way from Wembley, but the 5,000 capacity Perry Park will host the FFA Cup game against the Brisbane Strikers State League side. And Sharon, just before I go, keep an eye out tomorrow for a major announcement regarding the Brisbane International. One of the sport's biggest names is headed to Tennyson. Stay tuned, Sharon. Sounds exciting. It will be. All right, thank you, Webby. And now here's a look at what's on Sunrise tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Tomorrow on Queensland Sunrise, the ultimate homecoming for Australia's Olympic heroes. Sunrise will be there as their athletes touch down and reunite with their families. Looking forward to that. Plus, Jennifer Hawkins on the hot new looks for spring. But right now, it's back to you. Thank you, Sam. Finance and fuel cast are next, then the growing popularity of bottled water. But is it really better than what comes from the tap? And a soggy Wednesday on the way, but how long will that rain last? I'll have the details next.
Today's main story is now in Thor fan heaven in the CBD. Many today getting up close with Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston. Murder breakthrough, security pictures have surfaced of a man dumping the car of Logan mother Sabrina Bremer. And pension changes are coming. Some seniors will get more, but most will get less and even miss out altogether. Taking a look at finance now, the share market closed higher across most sectors, driven by gains in banks and health stocks. BHP and Fortescue climbed, Rio Tinto was down. Oil prices continue to fall. Qantas is expected to announce a record profit tomorrow. Our Aussie dollar is buying 76 US cents. And in fuel casts, the RACQ says don't miss the chance to fill up cheaply. Let's see what the weather is doing now with Tiny. Thank you, Sharon. Hello again. It was another warm and muggy day across the southeast as unseasonal northerly winds blew across the region. That extra humidity is helping to feed some showers and storms this evening with more wet weather on the way. Now, let's finish with a look at the radar and a few showers are moving south of Ips, which all of this activity will slowly move towards the coast. So, Sharon, it might be worth staying inside tomorrow. Certainly sounds like it. All right. Thank you, Tony. And that's all from us this Tuesday. Thanks very much for your company. From all the team, we hope you have a very good night.